Good evening everyone. With this podcast, Manupatra tries to provide you with news highlights of the day. Starting with Supreme Court, the Honorable Supreme Court has held that delivering a defective and old model car against booking for a new car to a customer who has paid the full sale consideration is an unfair trade practice and such practice amounts to dishonesty on the part of the dealer. The Honorable Supreme Court has held that courts should be slow to exercise their jurisdiction to quash criminal proceedings on the basis of settlement where offences are capable of impacting not merely the complainant and accused but also others. The Honorable Supreme Court has asked the central government in consultation with National Council for Transgender Persons to devise policy framework for reasonable accommodation of transgender persons seeking employment in all establishment covered by Transgender Persons Protection of Rights Act 2019. The Honorable Supreme Court has held that the gravity of crime is the prime consideration for deciding what should be the appropriate punishment in a criminal case and if undue sympathy is shown by reducing the sentence to the minimum it may adversely affect the faith of people in efficacy of the law moving on to the high courts now the delhi high court while granting ad interim injunction in favor of popular restaurant and bar chain social restrained a jharkhand based restaurant called social 75 from using its registered trademark social The Bombay High Court has taken Suomoto cognizance of Forest Department's decision to move wild elephants from Ghatcharuli Forest to a zoo. The court observed that the issue is important as it raises a fundamental issue regarding the rights of wild animals in a society dominated by humans. The Allahabad High Court has recently held that the recovery of a weapon by accused from a place not known to anybody else including the investigating officer is a fact that underlines the confirmation theory at the heart of section 27 of the indian evidence act the allahabad high court granted anticipatory bail to a man accused of subjecting a 9 year old boy to forced circumcision for the purpose of religious conversion The Allahabad High Court has ordered a medical examination of a 12-year-old rape victim who is presently carrying 16 weeks of unwanted pregnancy and has asked the state government to bear the entire expenses. The Madras High Court has directed the National Medical Commission to revisit the direction which stated that fees in 50% seats in private medical colleges and universities should be at the rate of government seats the court stated that the structure should be amended in such a way that merit is not affected the madras high court while holding that the reservation for women in public employment can only be made horizontally and not vertically has directed tamil nadu public service commission to amend the tamil nadu government servants conditions of service act of 2016 accordingly The Odisha High Court has held that the legal heirs of a complainant where a criminal case is instituted upon complaint can substitute him upon his death and pursue the case on the deceased's behalf. The Karnataka High Court has allowed a petition filed by a minor boy and set aside investigation initiated against him under POCSO for allegedly sexually assaulting a minor girl. following the parties arriving at a mutual settlement moving on to other authorities now the kerala state authority for advance rulings has held that gst is applicable to entities providing online education National Consumer Disputes Redressal Commission has held that a complainant who has exercised the option of withdrawing his complaint from NCDRC and has approached RERA does not have the right to re-approach the NCDRC. That is all for today. I wish you a good evening.